What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are hooking up a set of used lights that I happened to pick up um, on the Toyota Land Cruiser. Now if you've been following the channel, you already know I like to save a buck here and there wherever I can. And um, these guys were used, they were only 40 bucks, which was really great. Um, I believe the brand is uh, something called uh, Cali Raised. Um, they're LED lights. I plan to put these guys on the back of the roof, uh, on the back of the roof rack, on the back of the roof rack. Um, basically to give a little bit of light when we're out camping. However, they were cheap for a reason. They work and all, everything's great, nothing's cracked or, or too scuffed up, but it did not come with a harness. And um, these are like some really interesting, I don't know if you can see that. Um, these are very interesting plugs. Now initially, I was just gonna get some of these cheapo plugs, cut off the tail end of this guy and um, use these guys um, however uh, I did a little bit more research and these guys right here these uh, plugs the Deutsch style plugs are actually really really quality stuff basically they're dust proof and they're waterproof now I'm not gonna go try and dive it in water or anything like that but um, it does make me feel better the contact is a lot better on these guys too so in order to use the Deutsch style plugs that came with the lights originally so I don't have to cut anything and splice anything. I went ahead and got myself some extra plugs and some crimpers. And I'm going to try to do it myself. All the tools and the parts that you see me use in this video will be listed in the description down below so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. And for more Land Cruiser and Overland content, don't forget to subscribe. So before we get started, I just want to go over everything that we need to get the plug onto the wire that will plug into your aftermarket light. First of all, you need some wire cutters. You'll need this guy, which is the crimper. Wire strippers, if you don't have them, it's fine. You can use the cutters, it's the same thing. Um, obviously, you'll need your plugs. And of course, you've got your contacts. Now, these guys are the stamped version, uh, not the solid ones. The price on these guys are more or less the same, but the tool you'll need is a lot cheaper. This guy is, I think, like 20 bucks. The one for the solid contact, which we don't have here, is roughly about 200. So you save yourself a little bit of money there. I think they're just as good, but you know. So looking at our aftermarket light, the connector that's already installed has the male side of the connector, uh, well, the male side of the pins uh, in there. So what we'll be using is the female side of the pins. This right here is the female side. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just basically a little cylinder with a hole in the middle. Once you've measured out your wire, you'll need to take off a little bit of the uh, plastic coating. Maybe about a quarter inch is enough, very little. And there we go. Next, you want to get your connector and make sure that it's the right side. And you'll see there are two tabs. These two tabs go into the locking mechanism. However, they're usually spread a little too wide to where you can't really crimp down on that properly. You can see that right there. Um, so what I usually do is get another pair of pliers and pinch them together ever so slightly. Now that it's pinched together, it will fit into the crimpers. So I put them in here and you want it to line up with more or less flush with the edge of the crimper. Push down. See the little, the little curved side is on the top, the flat side is on the bottom. Once you get that ratchet to click that first click, you want to stop, grab your wire, push it all the way in, and then crimp down. Once it crimps down completely, it will release and then there we have your new crimp. So the bottom part of the crimp holds onto the wire, the plastic wire sheath, 
and the top part where both sides curve in holds on to the copper insides of the wire itself and it's pretty sturdy. So now we're going to do the other one. There we go. Now with both wires uh, having the connectors crimped on, we got to work on the plug itself. Now the plug itself, uh, the one on this light at least, is the female side. So we got to look for the male matching plug. This guy right here, it's just fine. And what you want to do is feed the wires through the little holes in the back. So, let's see if I can do this. Feed them through and it should click. There it goes, clicked. Now it's on there tight. The other side. Let's push it back in, it's fine. There it goes. That's clicked in. So make sure the rubber bits are in. That's basically what keeps the dust and the water out. And then you'll see the pins are out on this side. But once you've got both the wires into the connector itself, the back side is pretty much done. They're not coming out. Now you gotta put a little locking piece in here. Now sometimes these pins are like kind of like they're a little sticking out a little bit. You just gotta push them back in place, push them all the way down, grab your little locking piece. It's a wedge shape, so all you gotta do, push it in. And it clicks into place. Now that won't fall off easily. So after that, your plug is basically done. Let's see if it fits in this guy, into the light. There we go. Now we have a really secure dustproof and waterproof connection. So I waited till nighttime. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, it works. And that is it. These guys are a lot easier to put together than I first imagined. For the minimal investment of a new set of crimpers and some plugs, I get the benefits of a secure connection. Not only is it waterproof and dustproof, I don't even have to cut the original wires that came off of these guys. But let me know what you think. Would you have used the Deutsch style plugs that I did or just crimped on the basic plug? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy. Go ahead and hit that like button. And for more Land Cruiser and Overland content, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.